Today in Fredericksburg, I'm going to be upgrading the grounds around the Fureinskirche, also known as the Marktplatz. In case you missed the first video, this large octagon building is the community's hub, serving as church, school, and town hall. The grounds are really truncated in my LEGO version, so I want to extend them a little on the backside, and maybe more in the future someday. Let's start by adding a bust of Fredericksburg's founder, John Musebach, on the front walkway. He was born in Germany and founded the town in 1846. The actual memorial uses pink granite and a bronze bust. However, there aren't many beards in Lego, and I thought this one in light gray was the best choice. I also haven't figured out a good way to represent pink granite with Lego's colors yet. Now this bust wasn't erected until 1936, and my Lego town is set in the early 1900s, but I'm not always super strict with the years. I mean, the first Fureins Kirsche building was already torn down in 1900, and the replica wasn't built until 1935. And I definitely need to include that iconic building in my city. And I have no idea when the Ostlander was built, probably decades later. Next, I thought it'd be nice to plant a bunch of Texas blue bonnets out front. The simple grass might be more representative, but hey, who doesn't like blue bonnets? Let's move the building to my desk so I can add another half base plate around back. But I forgot that this mock is one and a half base plates wide, so I'm going to need to cut another one in half. This is the first time I've done this, and it wasn't too hard with an X-Acto knife, although my line isn't very straight. With that in place, I can now extend the brick sidewalks to the back edge. Next I can fill in the area with some more grass and add a little dirt trail to the center. Here I can add a nice tall flagpole. Then I made some custom stickers for the US and Texas flags. The Texas flag in 1900 was the same as the one we have today. But for the US flag, I printed the 45 star version that flew from 1896 to 1908 after Utah was added to the Union. I also could have used the 46 star version when Oklahoma was added, but it's 1900 and OU still sucks. Both of these flags can easily attach to the rope on the side of the flagpole. And one of the main parts I wanted to add today was the Lasting Friendship Memorial. It commemorates the peace treaty between Fredericksburg and the Comanche Nation, and is thought to be the only known peace treaty with Native Americans in US history that was never broken. I'll represent Musebach with this light gray minifig, although I do need another gray beard like the one on the bust, which is kind of a rare piece. And then this brown minifig with the classic buffalo horned headdress represents the Pinatuka Comanche chief, Santa Ana. There were actually 20 other Comanche chiefs at the peace treaty signing, which are represented by the third statue, but I just have the two minifigs here in my mock. I looked for pieces for the third minifig, but there just wasn't a good hair piece with braids for a male statue in the right colors. But I was able to include the peace pipe and a pickaxe as the weapon looking thing on the ground. Now this memorial was built in 1996 and is definitely out of our time frame here, but I still wanted to add it since the event it represents already happened 50 years prior. Let's add some plant pieces, a lot more blue bonnets, and two more benches. And we have ourselves a nice little memorial park extension. Like I said, the grounds of my marked plots are much smaller than in real life. But maybe that's okay since all of these buildings are actually much longer in real life than their Lego scaled counterparts are. Either way, this will have to do. I hope you enjoyed this short little update, and I'll see you next time in Fredericksburg. <laughs>